this is a monumental my first time. Why? Why? My first time watching a movie for my first time at Steve's place. Oh yeah, it's a my first time at my place. We always do this at Sonny's place. Now we're at my place. So we're road tripping it up. So today we're going to watch a movie at Steve's place and then our next time we're going to Daniel's place to watch Whoa. a movie. Whoa. It's like a it's like a my first time mini tour since we all live yeah. within like a 1 mile triangle. What are we watching tonight for? My first time. It's a movie that I remember watching clips of it as a kid. Only clips? And then it like disappeared off of VHS so you could never find it. It was pretty hard to find. And it was literally like a legend. It's like, did I, I remember watching this movie with a girl with a really short haircut. And at the end there's like this big, almost like riot concert, right? Is that right? I would call it a beach sting. They plan a beach sting. Okay. But you mentioned the word legend, and that's appropriate, because we're watching The Legend of Billie Jean, starring Helen Slater, Christian Slater, Yardley Smith, Peter Coyote, and many more. All right. So very many more. So I don't even remember what this movie's about. So. Oh, wow. Well, let's get to it. Okay. For my first time, Legend of Billie Jean. Wow. How do you feel about watching The Legend of Billie Jean for? My first time. Yeah. I think the first time I watched that movie, I was probably six years old at a sleepover. And my buddy's older sister made us watch it. And I was like, hey, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a very 80s movie. A very um, 80s movie, it's true. Like kids standing up to the man. Okay. Kids getting away with all sorts of chicanery and adventure stuff. Okay. Almost a rape scene that never is really mentioned until the end of the movie, kind of. But yeah. would have helped the movie from the very beginning had that have come out. Yeah. Well, she tried to tell that one cop about it, and the cop didn't want to help at first. But he didn't tell her. She didn't tell him about the rape. She told him about, hey, we need to get my, the money back for the yeah, maybe she scooter. Forgot. Maybe she didn't tell him. And no, and then she, that's when they went to the store to get the money, and then, and then that's when the cop was like, oh, I could have prevented this had I actually taken these kids for, seriously. Oh, man. Yeah, you know, it's the legend yeah. of Billie Jean. It's got a great soundtrack. It's got one of Pat Benatar's best songs, Invincible, on the soundtrack. They use it twice, and there's kind of a instrumental medley that happens elsewhere in the movie when they go to save Kenny. Poor Kenny. God bless him. Kenny's going to be staying at his grandma's for a little while. Oh, yeah. And that was odd. Like, all of a sudden, this, she's like a superhero for a second. Well, you know, the kids asked for her help, and then they all rallied behind her, and they, they saved Kenny. Which was very interesting. So, like, at the very end of the movie, like, everything starts burning. So, it's like her legend. Like, is it this hero worship thing shouldn't be real because look what happens, and then... And that's why everybody throws in their hats while everything's on fire. It's like, let's burn this down. It's... That's a great question. I think it was more like they realized that they bought all those hats from the villain. They bought all their Billie Jean merch from the villain of the whole story. And so they were like, Billie Jean's a legend now. I'm not wearing this hat that I bought from the villain, even though it's in support of Billie. The hat says, go Billie Jean. But the money... It's going to the very villain that started this whole mess. That was a legend of Billy Jean. You know it. All right, let's go. We gotta, we gotta camp out on an abandoned mini golf course. 